Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show how I made this awesome orc diorama with explosions. So to start with, I'm using one of these cool toy planes, just because it's the right kind of size and I think it looks pretty funny. Just right for an orc. So the kit's nice and simple, I mean it comes with instructions, we don't really need them, as there are only a few parts. And this just goes to cutting them out. And then gluing them together. So I bought this little plane from Amazon. There's a link in the description to it. I'm an affiliate with Amazon, so I do get a few pence every time someone buys something, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. And the good thing with these planes is there's quite a few in the little series. So if this isn't quite the plane you want, go and take a look because there probably will be one that you do like. So while the glue's drying, it's now time to go for my all bits box just to pick out some body parts for the pilot. So I like these little heads by Cromlech, as obviously they're nice little soldier heads. And there we go, that's the body I chose. But then when I built the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, I saw this little fella. I thought, oh, he's even better. And I like the fact he's got a little steering wheel in his hand, and he's about to throw a petrol bomb. So as this guy's a bit bigger than the original figure I was gonna use, I just need to cut out a bit more of an opening in this, this little aircraft, just to accommodate the extra size of him. And using a good old Dremel tool makes quick work of this. And there we go, he fits in there perfectly. So I rated a couple of the Orc vehicle sets that I've got before they were built and pulled these little bits out. And I think they to be perfect for this little plane. And then it's just a case of sticking them where I think they look good. So I will be buying more vehicles now to do some kit bashing with, just to try and build up a bit more of a bit box. If you are new here guys and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be informed of all the videos that I produce each week. And there we go, I think that looks pretty cool. So now I just need to tidy up the little opening that I cut earlier. And I can do that quite simply with a piece of wire. So I've just bought some plastic card, which is something I've never really used before. And I can use this to cut up into small little bits to use as little panels on the plane. So this stuff's pretty cool because you can get it in a variety of thicknesses. So I'll definitely be buying more of this to use for future builds. So I'm still playing around with the contrast paints and I want my orcs to start to be a lighter colour green just to see how that looks. So to suspend the plane off the ground I'm using this clothes hanger as obviously the wire in this is nice and firm and strong. So this one's pretty cool because it's got this weird little pattern in it. And it's a case of bending it up, doing the same on the other side and then obviously gluing the two bits together. So I've also just bought these wooden boards from Amazon and these are going to make for some great bases so I can make quite a lot of dioramas of this sort of size. And then it's just working out where the plane looks best, leaving enough room that I can still build the explosion on it. So in this diorama I'm going to use two sets of lights. I'm going to use the LED lights to go up for the thruster jets and again like I did in the previous video I'm going to put the switch for that down at the bottom of the base. So it's just a case of cutting out enough room to accommodate the switch. Then I'm also going to be using these tea lights to make the explosion with, just because these are flickering tea lights and that'll work really well. So to get them in the right place for the explosion, I'm just going to cut a few bits out of them. And there we go, that's all the lights in their position. I've glued the wire going up the rod, so it'll then be in position to come out the thrusters of the plane. So 
So to cover the base, I'm using the good old grout. Again, this is, this is a nice and cheap material to use, and it basically works really well. So it's just a case of covering the whole base in this material. So I've made a simple little framework to go in the thrusters. As this is what I'll be gluing the cotton wool buds on later. Again, I'm going to use these bits of wire just to make a simple framework. And I'm also going to use some tin foil to help build up this framework, just as this makes it more secure than just using the grout on its own. There we go, that's all done. And now I can just apply the grout all over it. And the good thing with this bit is, the messier it looks, the better it looks as it really does come out a nice, uneven looking texture. So that's the base all done. Now I can work on the lights for the thruster jet. And basically it's just a case of wrapping it around the wire framework. So I've wrapped it around the other side as well. And the good thing with these little lights is, you can cut them down to the size you need. And by cutting them, it doesn't affect how the lights work which is awesome. So I take the lights up so that I don't get any paint on them. And now I can get on with painting the base. So I've got my contrast paint in my trusty sprue holder. And for the plane, I'm gonna give it a dry brush with some silver paint. So this will just highlight all the edges And there are no prizes for guessing which colour I'm going to go for this plane. Obviously, it's going to be red. So I'm going to use the contrast paint on the, on the plane, just because it'll be a lighter, darker looking colour, and it'll make it look more weathered. And then because it is quite translucent, I'm just going to go over certain areas with the red paint again. So the tea lights are cut and glued together and I've got a bit of a metal frame going across them to keep them in place. And then it's just a case of building a little framework up around it, which I can then attach the cotton wool buds to later. So again, this wire is really cool because this wire is super soft, easy to bend and easy to cut. And it comes in a variety of thicknesses. So it's just a case of gluing it together to make a nice little bubble framework. And there we go. So it fits into place perfectly. And it's a case of getting the cotton wool buds and then gluing them on it. So these are nice round cotton wool buds, which look good. So I'm not really gonna do much with them apart from just glue them basically on. And it's just a case of making sure they all overlap each other so there's no gaps. And there we go, one fluffy cloud explosion. So I'm gonna do a similar sort of thing to cover the wire, but the good thing with this cotton wool is it unravels into a nice long length. 
And then it's just a case of gluing it on. And then it's just a case of doing a similar thing to the thruster jets. Obviously every now and then I like to make sure the lights still work. And then to paint the explosions, I'm just using my air gun. So going around, start with a nice little yellow. Then I go over with a bit of an orange. And then finally I go around it with a bit of a black. Just to add some sort of like soot sort of look to it. And there we go, it's pretty much done. Just gotta put the little pilot in now, and then it's finished. And voila! So I hope you like this little build guys. If you did, let me know in the comments what you thought of this and what you'd like to see next. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed of all the new videos that I produce. I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for help to support the channel. It means a lot guys. As everything this channel makes gets spent back into the channel Buy more bits to make dioramas and sprue videos. It only costs £1 to become a patron and you get access to behind the scenes photos of what I'm currently working on before it goes on YouTube, as well as access to a Discord channel. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.